So today is all about sustainable aviation fuel. So I'm in the environment uh, department at IATA. Uh, sustainable aviation fuel is a key part of the, um, the industry's strategy as we move uh, from, from 2020 to 2050, where we have very, very um, ambitious uh, targets to reduce our, our CO2 footprint as an industry. One of the things we're really interested in is supporting the aviation industry and the fuels industry in moving towards more low carbon fuels for aviation. And what we're looking to do here is to bring together OEMs uh, and fuel producers, small startups, people who have ideas and opportunities looking to develop their projects and bring that resource and opportunity to take the industry forward. very first time we're, we're launching a competition that's not a traditional grant funding competition. This is about enabling the communities, the fuel producers, to access the expertise that is quite critical for the approval and certification of new fuels. People can apply to either have that technical support or, and even some fuel testing within that, which is really great and that's part of what Sheffield University will be offering. Um, and then also in stream two is to bid for an auxiliary power unit, so an APU. So what we want to create through that is a, a sort of national asset, a facility that fuel producers can use to get some testing on their fuel. SAFSIG as a whole is a great initiative. It's a really good partnership working with KTN and, and Innovate UK and seeing how that with the support of the Department for Transport the industry can really make some really big steps forward. We've proved that it can be done and it can be done commercially, we now have to scale up. I would really love it if we got to the point where when we fly on sustainable jet fuel it's not a press worthy announcement, it would be business as usual. Let's get to that stage, let's get it in every single airport in, in the UK, let's let, make that a challenge, a target and ambition.